Hey, what is up you guys? This week is Asexual and Aromantic Talk. I have a website of a university on my iPod so that I can um, bring you accurate uh, definitions of this. So, like I said, I am not aromantic, I am not asexual, so if I am wrong, it's not my fault, it's the university's fault. So, this week, I'm going to start with asexual. Asexual is a term used to describe someone who does not experience sexual attraction towards individuals of any gender. So that means that you can feel the arousal, but that does not mean you're attracted to someone. So you can be sex positive, you can have sex, that does not mean that you are not asexual. You are still asexual. You can ha think about maybe having sex with your partner but not feel the uh, the attraction. Sorry, my cat's on the floor. Or you could just be sex repulsed. All of those are part of the asexual meaning. Now, Nixie, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, anyways, let's go to romantic, aromantic. Aromantic is an individual who does not experience romantic attraction towards individuals of any gender. So it's the same thing as asexual, but in a romantic way. But you don't have, but you might have a sexual attraction, you might not. Who knows? So this is not really known about, people don't really talk about it. People assume that everyone has a romantic side. Not everyone does. Some people are aromantic and that is okay. If you are either one, put down in the comments below and tell us what you feel if you if you want if you don't want to that is perfectly fine so yeah and I want to touch on demisexual demisexual and demi romantic demisexual means that you do not experience primary sexual attraction but may experience secondary sexual attraction after a close bond has already formed that is me I do not like sex that like unless I have formed a bond with you. I do not have- I'm still a virgin, but <laughs> that's a little bit too much information, but that that is how I am. I do not do that until I have formed an attraction with- uh, uh, you know what I mean? Until I formed a bond with you. Now, that's more known about, but it's still not really known about. And then demi-romantic, which I have never heard anyone say that they are demi-romantic, but I know it is possible. I just don't know anybody who says they are. Demi-romantic is an individual who does not experience romantic attraction until a close bond has been formed. So it's the same thing, except for romantic attraction. My cat is being a dumbass right now. Anyways, so just remember that just remember that whoever you are, whatever you feel, you are valid. You you can be valid in for having many different genders. Like for any gender, if you are bi gender, you're valid. Nixie, stop playing with my foot. He's playing with my foot. He thinks my foot is a toy. But just remember that, please. Any sexuality you are, it is valid. The term sexuality and gender, the whole reason people think that um, that we make we make up so many genders and sexualities is because we use so many different terms to describe how we feel. That does not mean that you are not valid. If someone tells you you are not valid in that, tell them to go away. Because guess what? You are valid. Alright you guys, this is my video for the week. I will let you go. Have a nice week.